I applied to volunteer at my first Sundance Film Festival in 2010. I had just graduated from college, I was living at home, I had no job, and I was about to start my second unpaid internship. So when my friend called and asked if I wanted to volunteer at Sundance with her that January, I was all in. I mean, it's not like I had a job or PTO to worry about. That was one of the best decisions I could have made. I loved Sundance that first year so much. I'm going back for my sixth festival this January, and I'm up here on stage today to convince you all why you should volunteer too. But before I get into all that convincing, let me clear up the air with a few ground rules, some questions I get asked all the time. The first one is, wait, 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 wait. You can volunteer at Sundance? And the answer is yes. You can really volunteer at Sundance. The festival actually uses 1,800 volunteers every year to make the festival work. The staff can't do it alone, so they need you to come help. The second question I get asked all the time is, do you have to work in film to volunteer? Emphatically, no. I work in marketing. I can barely remember actors' names, let alone producers or directors. So you do not have to know anything about film to volunteer at the Sundance Film Festival. Now that we're all on the same page, here's the first reason why you should spend two weeks of your PTO volunteering. The people. The people you meet there are amazing. I have met some of my best friends at Sundance, and the stories you get are phenomenal. The kind of people who go to Sundance have great stories to tell, like Dean, my friend who has been volunteering at Sundance for almost longer than I've been alive. Every year he hitchhikes from wherever he's been in the country that year and to Park City, and then spends whatever money he has in his, in his pockets for the rest of the two weeks. Or my friend Chelsea, who just finished her second documentary, this one about the band The Matches. Or my friend Sharon, who created a women in film organization called The Muff Society that is now international. I know, it's a great name, right? <laughs> These people have become my, some of my greatest friends and my biggest champions in the past six years, and I can't imagine life without them. The second reason why you should volunteer at Sundance are, well, I mean, obviously the movies, right? It's called the Sundance Film Festival, after all. The movies you have access to at Sundance, you will not be able to find anywhere else. For example, last year, I got to see the movie called The Lure. It's set in 1980s Warsaw, Poland. It's a musical about two mermaid sisters who want to find love but can't help killing people along the way. <laughs> right? It was amazing. <laughs> you also get to experience behind the scene looks at how films get made with um, filmmaker panels. So has anybody here seen The Witch? It's a horror movie. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. Learn this at Sundance. They use the same methods, tools, and materials they would have actually used in 1600s to create everything you saw, which is mind-blowing. Also, if you like to brag, anybody, you get to see these movies for free, sometimes up to a year before they hit theaters. So if bragging's your bag, you will love Sundance, but your friends might hate you a little bit. <laughs> And the third reason why you should volunteer at Sundance is the energy. And I know it sounds super corny for me to be telling you, the energy at a film festival is great. But it's true. The kind of people who leave their lives for two weeks to watch movies in the mountains with a bunch of strangers are a special breed of people. <laughs> they are passionate. They are vibrant. They are enthusiastic. And that kind of positivity just can't help but rub off on you. So if you need a change of pace or some sort of rejuvenation, whether it's in your personal life or in your work life, skip the meditation retreat and get your butt to Sundance. It does a body good. <laughs> so now that you're all on the edges of your seats like wanting to volunteer this year, I have some bad news. Unfortunately, applications are closed for Sundance 2017. <laughs> I know, I know. But mark your calendars for August because that's when they open up for Sundance 2018. Volunteering that first year at Sundance was arguably one of the best decisions I've ever made. In the haze of meeting new friends and watching movies and going to parties and avoiding altitude sickness, I found a sense of confidence that I've had with me ever since. So if anything I've said tonight resonates with you, if you have any questions about Sundance or you want to know what volunteering is like or how to apply, please feel free to tweet at me or email me at this address right here or find me after the rest of the phenomenal speakers you're about to hear. I would love to talk your ear, out, ear off more about Sundance. And, I mean, 
that's basically it. I'm so pumped to go to Sundance in January, and I hope in 2018, woo, I heard someone. Um, I hope in 2018 I'll get to see some of you there too. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.